Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to Burns channel, which I'm going to be showing you guys another tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you guys how to install the latest new mod pack for my server. So for any update of my server for now on, it's going to be installed in the same way. Uh, you have to install it quite different from the first way you guys saw my first tutorial when I, you know, released the server, you guys saw like the first tutorial, it's going to be completely different this time. So first off, what we're going to do is go into the description of this video and it should lead you here to the SEM owned server uh, release. So here it is. It looks awesome that's awesome you can see the first video the tutorial is now outdated I'm gonna add a link to this tutorial and you scroll down and you see right here there's a download right here you're gonna click on this picture and it should be downloading the mod pack also this video will be listed right here on how to install the mod pack you just show the spoiler and it is coming soon because I am making it right now as I speak so here is the new IP of the server and here's the new mod pack so get these and we'll be able to actually uh, do this so get the new download click on the download link right here and once you have the download, drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better. And here is Minecraft Forge Universal. You need Minecraft Forge Universal and also you need the new download which is called SC Moans Open This. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Options and Force Update Our Game because we're going to remove every single mod that we have installed just to prevent any, you know, uh, incompatible stuff or any crashes. We're going to go here to Options when we launch Minecraft. Go to Force Update Our Game. So press Done and log in. So we're removing all of our mods that we have currently installed installed and we're downloading a brand new Minecraft jar in, in which we're going to install some new mods. So here it is. I'm going to leave this updating so I'm going to minus this and you guys are going to get the download from my forum. You're going to need Minecraft Forge Universal 6.6.0 .6 plus or you're going to get the SE Moans open this download. You're going to get both of these. All right. So get both of them. And once you have the downloads available, let's go ahead and install this mod pack. I'm going to go here to start at the very bottom left corner and I'm going to search in the keys percent app data percent. There you go. So I'm going to locate my roaming folder in which should be a dot Minecraft folder, which we're going to install the mods. So you're going to search percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see dot Minecraft in the very top. You need to go into your dot Minecraft folder. You're going to see bin resources save and everything else. Go into your bins folder before you open up your Minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder. You have to make sure you have your Minecraft game closed. Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mods. So exit off your Minecraft game. Now right click your Minecraft dot jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with Win. So you're gonna open up your Minecraft thought jar with WinRAR. Open it up and move it aside. So the first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods, is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right-click meta inf and delete files. So say yes, and now delete meta inf. So what you're gonna do in your Minecraft thought jar is you're gonna simply install Minecraft Forge Universal. Open up Minecraft Forge Universal and simply move it aside. So here are all the files from Minecraft Forge Universal. Select on any file that you like and press Control A to highlight all the files from Minecraft Forge Universal. Highlight all the files and simply drag them all into your Minecraft jar side. Wait a little bit as all of these files transfer over and replace. Press OK. And now you are done with the Minecraft jar side. And now you are done with the Minecraft Forge Universal side. So go ahead and exit that off as well. So now we are inside our bins folder. What you have to do is go back to your .minecraft folder after you have already installed the Minecraft Forge Universal inside your Minecraft jar. So go back to your .minecraft folder with bin resources save and everything else. Now what you're going to do is open up the SCM owns open this. Open that up. And what you're going to see is two folders, config and mods. What you do is highlight these configs and mods and simply drag them all into your, uh, what is it called, dot .minecraft folder. That's it. You just have to highlight these two folders into your dot .minecraft folder and it should be able to work. It's going to add in a new mods folder and configs folder. And once you have all that listed out, let's go ahead and log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the game and sh everything should be able to work. Everything is fine after you have done that. Let's log into our game and make our game bigger. There we go. Let me make it bigger. There we go. So now we have 37 mods loaded. Go to multiplayer. Here is the new IP right there. 198.27, all that great stuff. Go into there. And it should be able to log you in. There's only like 10 players at the moment. And these are the players that have installed the mod successfully. And there you guys have it. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys will enjoy this new mod pack and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Hope to see you guys on my server.